Did you know, in 1812, the Great Army of Napoleon decided to attack Russia. Six months later, they faced the severe cold. And the buttons? And it turned to dust because of frost. In the juncture of 11 and 12 years of the 20th century, the discoveries of the South Pole, the British expedition of Robert Scott, they faced their same reaction of tin to cold. They lost fuel for their snowmobiles because the kerosene was located in big tin tanks. The lack of knowledge of polymorphism is what unites these two stories. So, what is the phenomena of polymorphism? Well, it is the ability of the same set of atoms to exist in different structure, allotropic modification. Carbon, of course, is one of the most known polymorphism. Graphite, diamond, fullerene, graphene, these are just a few modifications of carbon. In total, there are nine of them being open today. Although all these are the same atoms, each modification has its own specific heat capacity, thermal and electrical conductivity, magnetic, mechanical, chemical properties, and so on. Polymorphic transformations occur under external factors, for example, temperature or pressure. Scientists claim that even molecular hydrogen can be turned into metal. So, how and why do these transformations occur? The reason is physical laws. Bodies in nature always tend to have a small amount of internal energy inside of them, for them to be more stable. Take alpha iron, for example. Its atoms are arranged in the form of a cube. Eight atoms at the vertices and one in the center. Take a closer look. The atoms in the lattice sites slightly fluctuate. This is how the internal free energy acts. And when the energy becomes a little more, the atoms are vibrating more and more. Our atoms that were in the center of the cubes are now located on the faces, forming a new type of crystal lattice of a more compact and stronger gamma iron. Having spent the extra energy to move and create new bonds, the atoms again oscillate only slightly. Surprisingly, the physical laws also work with people. Our internal state depends on the external influences. Warmth and love that nourish a person from the outside make him more self-confident, strengthen him or her. Just like iron becomes strong with heat. And the cold, the absence of love and warmth can lead to the fact that all his or her self-confidence crumbles. Just like tin in the cold. Thank you for watching. Even if you don't like physics, I hope this was helpful for you. And Maria with you.